What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to be looking at the history of college football conference realignment from 1978 to 2018. And the reason I'm going to take a look at this is because looking back at the videos that I've uploaded so far, I'd have to say that the Nebraska Black Shirts reaction that I did is probably the one that I've had the most interaction with you guys and where you guys have seen the most uh, you know, excited and giving me all the, the stories and information on that team, which I really enjoyed. And there's a few other college teams that I want to check out as well, but I thought I'd just go back into the history and just because I, I really want to dig deep into college football now because I had no idea, I didn't even expect it that. College football is as big as the NFL, if not bigger. Uh, it has like bigger stadiums and apparently more fans and I just, I really want to, I want to get deep into into college football so I can just learn heaps more about it and the different teams and not only that but also because I so I can see you know I want to follow it as well like follow the regular season because I want to f see who the future NFL stars are and so you know I can I can know who who's coming into the into the into the league into the NFL so without going on about it too much longer let's just get straight into this one One A, one A A. Okay. Following thirteen conferences remained in one A. Okay, so you have conferences, Pac-10 teams: Arizona, Arizona State, California, Oregon, Oregon State, Stanford, UCLA, USC. Is that University of Southern California? Washington and Washington State, so Pac-10, so I'm guessing that is the Pacific, Pacific 10 teams. Cool, okay, got that. So I'm guessing 1A is like the big, is like 1A is the the best conference, and then 1AA is like the the one underneath it, so do, do they fight? I guess they might tell me, but do they fight for their spot to get into the top conference, or... Or, what's or is it because is it sometimes are there power shifts in conferences? So the Big Eight looks like the middle of the country. We have Colorado, Iowa State, Kansas, Kansas State, Missouri, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma State. Big Eight. Southwest. Arkansas, Baylor, Houston, Rice, SMU, TCU, Texas, Texas A&M, and Texas Tech. Basically, all just Texas, Big Ten, Illinois, Indiana, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, Michigan State, Minnesota, Northwestern, Ohio State, Purdue, and Wisconsin. That's kind of like the Northeast, kind of, or mid, Midwest. I don't know. SEC, Alabama, Auburn, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, LSU, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Vanderbilt. Wonder what, wonder what SEC stands for. Southeast Conference, probably. ACC. Don't know what that stands for. Clemson, Duke, Maryland, North Carolina, North Carolina State, Virginia, Wake Forest. WAC. What does that mean? Oh, Western Athletic Conference. Well, I wonder why athletic is in the name of some of the conferences and then not the others. BYU, Colorado State, San Diego State, New Mexico, Utah. UTEP and Wyoming. They sound very rural. Mid American Conference. Ball State, Bowling Green, Portland Green, Central Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Kent State, Miami, Northern Illinois. Miami? I thought that was down in Florida. Huh. Northern Illinois. Ohio, Toledo, Western Michigan. Pacific Coast. PCAA. Okay, I'm guessing that the AA means that they're in the 1AA conference and that they're the lower sort of teams. Cal State, Fullerton, Fresno State, Long Beach State, Pacific, San Jose State, and Utah State. SOCON, Southern Conference, Appalachian State, Chattanooga, Furman, Marshall, the Citadel, VMI, Western Carolina. Sorry, the reason I'm stopping this and reading them out is so that in my mind as I'm reading them out, it just helps me remember the names of all the different, um, all the different colleges. Mm -hmm. 
Arkansas State, La Lamar, Louisiana Tech, McNeese State, Southwestern Louisiana, Texas Arlington, Southland, Southland Conference. The bottom half of our South Island in New Zealand is called Southland. Useless fact. Missouri Valley. Drake, Indiana State, New Mexico State, Southern Illinois, Tulsa, West Texas State, and Wichita State. Ivy League, Brown, Columbia, Cornell, Dartmouth, Harvard, Penn, Princeton, Yale. Okay, wow, so that's all of the, like, the really... Don't even know what word to use for them. Like, really high-end colleges. Really intelligent ones. <laughs> I've heard of them. 1A Independence. What does this, well, what does it mean when they're independent? They're not part of a conference. Do they just like play anyone, basically? Air Force, Army, Boston College, Cincinnati, Colgate, East Carolina, Florida State, Georgia Tech, Hawaii, Holy Cross, Illinois State, Louisville, Memphis State, Miami, Navy, North Texas State, Northeast Louisiana, Notre Dame, Penn State. I've heard of Notre Dame before. Penn State, Pittsburgh, Richmond, Ruck, Rutgers, South Carolina, Southern Miss, Syracuse, Temple, Tulane, UNLV, Villanova, Virginia Tech, West Virginia, and William and something, which I can't see underneath that logo. 32 teams. Man, there's a lot of colleges. Wow. Here is the history of 1A Conference. Realignment. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Arizona and Arizona State leave the Western Athletic Conference for Pac-8, renamed Pac-10. Okay, because both of them joined. Now what do we got? UNLV joins 1A Independence from Division II Independence. Okay, so San Diego State leaves the Pacific Coast for the WAC. Utah State joins the Pacific Coast from 1A Independence. Indiana State joins the Missouri Valley from 1A Independence. Okay, got it. Hawaii joins the West, East Tennessee State joins the South, 80 Air Force joins the West, Yukon drops back down, Villanova drops their football program, really, all together, wow, Illinois State joins the Missouri Valley from 1A, Independence, okay, a lot happening this year, a lot of switches, looks like an ind Independence, mainly, with Indiana State drops down to 1AA. Much there. Independence moves again. New Mexico State joins Pacific Coast. 85 stays the same. Drake drops football program, program altogether. Northern Illinois joins 1A Independence. Wichita State discontinues football program. Far out. That sucks. The Pacific Coast changes its name to the Big West. SMU resumes football after the death penalty. What? Louisiana Tech joins 1A Independence. Here we go. Boston College, Miami, put the blah blah blah, football in the east. Oh yeah, okay. Into the Big East. A lot happens in 92. Fresno State joins the Western. Long Beach State drops football program. Man, that's got to hurt. Far out. If you're like part of the team and they drop the football program, that would just be devastating. Cal State, Fullerton drops the football program. Mate, they just must, they, do they run out of funding or something? Is funding the main problem? Wow, a lot of happened in 96. A lot of movement. Marshall joins the MAC from the Southern. Outline in red are the automatic qualifying conferences designated by the BCS. They receive auto bids to BC, BCS bowls. Army joins Conference USA from 1A Independence. Okay, so they're the main conferences in red. Got it. They're the big ones. Bit of movement. 2000, Nevada, Yukon, South Florida. Wow, a lot of movement there. This is crazy. Why? I don't understand. Why isn't it just like set? UCF joins. Oh, it's... it's is this basically what I was talking about before, is how, how people fight for spots to get into the conferences, and if you're an independent, you're kind of, are you fighting for your spot to get into a 
certain conference and then can you only are you only eligible to be in a certain conference because of your geographical location or where of your colleges man i have to say some of these logos are so cool so cool that husky one is cool sorry this is a bit off topic i'm just actually sort of appreciating the the uh the logos that are there for each college that spartan helmet one is cool these ones just stick out for me i oh, which one i wonder what logo the nebraska let me just see if i can quickly try and find the nebraska black shirts logo or the corn huskers logo and if i can get it right Oh, I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> okay, where is Nebraska? That would be maybe... Oh, which one is it? Oh, no, I don't want to get it wrong. I'm looking for an N. Or are they being tricky? Have they just got like a, a, a an animal or something? Oh, you guys are probably cringing and just going it's right there it's right there i can't find it guys sorry to all my nebraska fans i should know this to be honest i should it's not that purple n with the bobcat sort of looking thing is it oh it's the big n is it the n in big 12 the big red n okay i'm going with that going with it <laughs> 2005 bit of movement well that shield with the spartans and the sword is cool not much movement there. Temple joins the MAC from FBS Independence. Western Kentucky U. Oh yeah. That Independence thing is just like boggling my mind, eh? BYU joins FBS. Boys State. 2012. We're getting recent. 2013. Stop, sp stop sponsoring football. Bit of change. Rutgers in Maryland joined the Big Ten from the American. Wait, what? What was that? The American loses its automatic qualifying status after the departure of its top programs, establishing the Power Five conferences. Okay, that that must be these five here: Pac-12, Big 12, Big Ten, SEC, and ACC. So, and then the rest of these guys. I mean, it must be a fight. I wonder if there's ever been, I really want to know guys, let me know, has there ever been a season where maybe like one of the teams is from an independence or, uh, you know, from one of these small lower down conferences and they went through and won like a, a college championship? And ha I mean, is there like a Super Bowl version of the college championship? Do you, is there like an actual final they get right to the end to, to play? Let me know. Oh man, I want to get to a college game so badly. so bad it's a dream of mine to get to I don't care what school it is what college it is I'll just be happy to go to anyone big stadium lots of noise 2018 so that's how we're looking so we've got the big five conferences okay cool 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 okay I know a little bit more about college football now but I'm going to keep checking it out, keep looking. But And your recommendations are always welcome, guys. It really helps me out. And your comments, of course, as well. It just really helps me out. And growing up, me and my friends would always say to each other, oh, man, the dream life would be going to college in America. I eh? would, you know, play sports and, you know, would we'd just live the student life and you know because in, in New Zealand you can only we don't really have colleges here we do it's called universities but we I mean no one it doesn't have that uh, people don't really stay on the campus they kind of rent out apartments in Auckland City and they kind of just live their own little lives they don't really have that whole like the fraternities and and um, yeah they don't have the college culture here at all not not even slightly uh, but in America it's 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 very appealing I, I, I must say from an outsider looking in it looks really cool I always wanted to go to college in America but it just never worked out I never got the opportunity and I don't even know if it's possible for me to go there without getting offered like a scholarship or something but yeah anyway without talking too much longer that was that was cool it was awesome just a bit of background history so 
letting you guys know that I'm going to start heading down the college football direction a bit more now as well because I noticed that you guys liked it as well. It's got some, some of the most views on my channel. So I'm going to be definitely taking a look. I'm going to start looking at some individual schools as well. I think uh, some other, uh, one of my viewers was talking about Wisconsin uh, team, go the Reds or something like that. I'm, I'm not too sure. But anyway, I, I'll, I'll find more. I'll find more out about it as I watch the video. So yeah, if you like the video of me learning about college football, and you want more to come, uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video.